we're just going on lots of tangents already today. If you can, you know, blend the poo out of it um, effectively, then I think you'll really like it. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and it was really kind of like, I want to say like a basic makeup week, but it really wasn't like basic, but it was a very repetitive makeup week where I really didn't use a ton of products. I just really stuck to these right here, so I don't have a ton to go over, but they're really good things. So let's get into it. So first up, I've been playing with my new Juvia's Place palette. This is the Magic by Juvia's. This is what it looks like. It is beautiful. I am gonna have a video up on this palette where I swatch it. I do some comparison swatches. I'll do a little mini tutorial for y'all. And it's a little bit close to this eye look, but not completely the same. But I really am drawn to like certain colors in here. I mean, it's a really fun palette overall. I mean, it's colorful. You have to like colorful to like this palette, but I like colorful and I like this palette, and I like neutrals too. And there are some neutrals in here, so the main ones, I feel like I'm all over the place today. Like super hyper, I need to calm it down a little bit. So let's get back to the palette. So the main ones I've been drawn to are the pinky shades, this brown shade, and these two silvery colors. Like normally I'm not really super drawn to the silvery colors, but I am in here. So this one up here is Osun. This one is Zuba. This brown one is Baronu. I love that one. This one is Vi. It's kind of like silvery gray blue. And then this really light blue is Zamoja. It's like a silvery light blue. It's so pretty. Do y'all like my new cuff? I got that in San Antonio. Is that not like, <gasps> it's amazing. I love it. You gotta like some rocker cuffs to like something like that though. I mean, I, I don't know. It's very kind of, gothic medieval looking, but I love it. That's a side tangent. Back to this palette once again. We're just going on lots of tangents already today. I don't know why I'm drawn to these colors, but like even right there, like that color palette just makes me happy. Like it just is creative and bright and fun, but you can still make it pretty neutral. Like today, what I did today is I put this one all over my lid a little bit of this on my inner corner and I just felt like it was too silvery. So all I did was take um, a Real Techniques small detailer brush, a really tiny brush, got some of that and just like put it right in the middle of my eye. I did wet my brush just because I really wanted it to be like very concentrated in the middle of my eye, but it just kind of helped to, I don't know, add a little bit more like fun and dimension to the look, but also kind of bring it down a notch. Like not so silvery disco looking, and I don't know, more like, I don't even know how I would describe this. Neutrally, something, but I like it. So I've been playing with that palette all week. I'm loving it. I love Juvia's Place palettes. I think they're so great. I haven't gotten the newest one yet. I actually missed it. It already like sold out by the time I went and looked at it, but it's limited edition. So I don't know, I'm on the fence about it. I'm tearing off a thing to wipe off my hand. I'm on the fence about it. So let me know what you're thinking about it. Like I'm tempted, but it looks super colorful. So, which these are too. Anyway, I'm just babbling. Let me know if you're thinking about that one. For blush this week, I was still playing with my Juvia's Place blush palette. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. So I mentioned last week that I was probably gonna continue playing with it because I had more colors that I wanted to play around with. And I did. From what I'm remembering, I think I've already forgotten. Isn't this sad? I've already forgotten what I was playing with a week ago. I think I was mainly using this one and this one last week. This week, um, I wore this one quite a bit. And today I have more of this on, but probably a little bit of that was still left on the blush brush. And I did wear this one one day this week. It's gorgeous, but holy moly, it's intense. So, I mean, I really had to like blend the poo out of it to kind of make it work. It, it's so pretty though. Like if you can, you know, blend the poo out of it um, effectively, then I think you'll really like it. <laughs> but today I'm not wearing it. I'm wearing more of that kind of like maroony one right there with a little bit of that one. So, I mean, aren't those pretty? And then with those pinky colors on your eyes, it's just gorgeous. It's just amazing. This one, one of y'all said that you wanted to wear this as a shadow. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing on the eyes. So I wanna try that too. 
So great suggestion. So anyway, still playing around with that blush palette this week. A highlighter that I was loving all week is this one. I got this in my BoxyCharm box. So this is by Artist Couture, and this is the Diamond Glow Powder. So that's what the outside box looks like. This is beautiful. I was very confused about how to open it, so I'm, to this moment, not quite sure how to do that. Timothy figured it out for me. It's like the little closey thing was like underneath the turny deal, official terms there. So like, I wasn't really quite understanding how to get that off of there without making a huge mess. So I just left it up to him and he did a great job. So here is that highlighter and I do have this on my cheeks today. Gorgeous. I'm trying to wear my hair straight a little bit more because my hair is naturally straight and it's just, it's more healthy for it if I leave it straight. So I'm trying, I wore it straight for years, but I'm kind of used to seeing it curled and it just stays less like flat and like, I don't know, stringy looking when I curl it. So I'm trying. I like it straight. I don't mind it straight, but anyway, like I was saying, this is just, oh my gosh, we're just having girl time. I hope y'all are drinking some coffee because I'm just chatty Kathy today. So here is that highlighter. Oh, I feel like it's not really looking super impressive right there, but it's gorgeous. It really is a very pretty, oh, there we go. I didn't have enough. It's a very pretty highlighter. So it's like a, a golden champagne, really pretty, just like very, um, I don't know, like fairy dust kind of looking. What was it called? Diamond Glow Powder. It does have shimmer in it, like silver micro shimmer. So just know that about it. If you don't like shimmer in your highlighters, you won't like this. But if you like that kind of, I don't know, diamondy fairy dust look, I think you'll really like it. It's gorgeous. For lips this week, I was pretty much just wearing these two liquid lipsticks from Ofra. I was just pretty much alternating between them. So first off, this one is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Santa Ana. This is pretty. This is kind of like a, I, w I don't know, like a muted statement lip is maybe how I would describe it. Um, Cause it's not like neon and it's not metallic or anything. I feel like those are like, you know, more statementy lippy. This is more like subdued, but still a statement lip because it's still a bold color, but it's a little bit muted. Like, I hope that makes sense. So like if you're wanting to kind of like try out a more, um, I don't know, statement lip, like a red or something, try this one because it's kind of like a rosy red, really, really pretty. Um, I think this looks pretty with like just a, an intense liner, like a winged liner, um, or like, what was I wearing it with? I wore it with that kind of like bronzy brown color from the palette and it was really pretty with that. So yeah, it's just a beautiful, like rosy raspberry red is how I would describe it. Pretty color. And this is the one that I definitely wore the most this week. This is Bel Air. So they have, um, a trio of nude colors. The trio is really pretty. There's a new shade in there, Manila, which I really do like, but this one is a little bit more kind of like a peachy nude. So I really do like Manila because I feel like it's kind of like a, a statement edgy nude. I wore that one day this week. I have a picture on my Instagram wearing that. Um, that one's kind of like, just got a little bit more of an edgy vibe to it. Whereas this one, because it has that kind of like peachy tone behind it, I feel like it's maybe a little bit easier to pull off. It depends on your skin tone, but for me, this one's easier for me to pull off. I like the other one a lot too, but this is the standout favorite for me this week because I was grabbing for it the most. But just a beautiful, like peachy, neutral color. Gorgeous. I really didn't notice like the intense line with this one because a lot of times like lighter nude colors or lighter pinks will do that line. It did it a little bit, but not as much as some others. So just an FYI, I would still check your lips, but I don't think it's gonna be quite as much as a problem of a problem as maybe some other colors, just FYI. And then lastly, I've been trying out this product this week. I was really excited to get this through Octoly to get to try it. This is the Kate Somerville Makeup Setting Spray, SPF 50 Uncomplicated SPF. 
says soft focus makeup setting spray broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen let me see if it says anything on the back it's really just kind of like about the sunscreen in it and how to use it but um, I did spray this on my face today so you can kind of see like what it looks like on the skin like it really I don't think my skin looks really any different and I wore this several times this week to get to try it out I think it's such a genius idea to put SPF and a setting spray together. So it's an aerosol can, so it just like sprays like this. So it's real kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really light. Like it doesn't spit at all. Like I really find that I kind of have to get a little bit closer to my face because it's such a fine mist. So I think that's a good thing. I don't think that's a problem. I think that's just really good um, packaging on it. So I really like the like soft mist to it. Um, has kind of like a lavendery sort of a scent to it. Like honestly, it smells a lot like um, one of my Young Living oils. And I think it's the lavender one. I'm so bad at remembering scents, but I'm almost positive that's lavender. Um, so it's a nice kind of like uh, calming scent to it, a little bit herbally. Um, and it's just like, good like it's good because I don't feel like it does anything to um I don't know make my makeup look different or weird do I notice it necessarily like locking in my makeup and and making it last longer I'm not sure about that part but honestly me personally I don't really notice a huge difference when I wear setting sprays versus not um, my main thing that I like about this is the fine mist, it's easy to use, and that it's SPF, and that it's a setting spray plus SPF versus just spraying SPF on my face over my makeup. So that's the main thing I like about it. I like being able to use it for the SPF purposes. Um, but let me know your experience. You may find that it really does help to lock in your makeup. I haven't specifically noticed that part. I more so just notice it's easy to apply and it's a high SPF. So I'm gonna keep using this all summer. I think it's awesome. I love high SPF. 50 is a great number. So genius product, love this. And I think the packaging's really cute too with the silver, white, and yellow. It's just very cute and fun. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!